a new video. In this video, we're continuing on the chicken house. We're actually gonna finish it today and get the birds in. First thing we're gonna get started is with the egg boxes. We've already built it and we're gonna attach it today. So let's see the clips of how we made it. So we have attached the egg box and it's really not going anywhere even though we have we have attached in four or five screws and it's like very long screws so it's very good holding I mean the chicken's not that heavy and we're not gonna really sit on it to get eggs we originally wanted to do four departments for eggs but then it would turn out too squishy even though they can go in a smaller place but I think three is enough currently they have only one egg box so I think that's gonna be an upgrade for them Definitely will fill it up with hay and everything. I do want to put some cute curtains, but that's not for now. It's not necessary And below we have their food as you saw we have this tray and we have two more and one of them want to put pippin food And then the other one maybe chicken baby food and uh, well, we'll see how we're gonna swap it We originally wanted to close it, but I think for now It's gonna work like that if we see that we need to seal it or we're going to close it and pooping on it We'll see but anyways the lid where the food is on the very top. It's like they could never squish in there so yeah, everything we're building kind of we're building it from things that we know that bother us in the old house. So we're kind of upgrading and doing them the way we think for us works the best. So in the future, if we see that something doesn't work the best or if they need more boxes, we can always upgrade. So for now, I think that's gonna work. Now we're gonna move on where David is. We're gonna put their sleeping sticks and the ladder, and I think that's pretty much it and the food. And that's pretty much it for the chickens, and then we're gonna move to the pupa side, which is the easiest side because they really don't need anything. This one? Take this that as well. That. So 
so we have filled it up of course we haven't filled it up the correct way where you take it off but we don't want them to eat now we just want to see if the height is okay so we're gonna open the ready here come tibis they don't know what it is that's your foodie tibis it's perfect It's working! I think if you add if it's full then the weight's gonna be a lot more. Yeah. It's pretty good. Come TVs! The chickens are definitely not gonna be the problem because they're already inside and they're <laughs> in theory it's snowing outside, so nothing really they can do. Look, no one is fighting, it's working very good. Yeah, they kind of jump in there and dominate again. Yeah, because what we have now is like just like ball and they're just jumping in it. The hanging is pretty good because it's not, you cannot make it fall over. I like it? the neighborhood <laughs> we have fully finished the chicken side they have everything they need so now we're gonna move on to the paper side we need to put them some platforms and then we also want to build a feeder for papers and chickens so yeah let's get started Are um, chickens are drinking water there, so they don't interfere too much. Papers 
are done, they have everything they need, but we still have to do some small jobs, which is putting on the handles and the latches on the doors. And finally, we need a step. We don't need it, but people need it, so we have to do that before they move in. So let's hurry up and get it all done. Top. is secured and you might be thinking why we put such a big latch over here and uh, yeah it could pretty much hold a bear inside maybe i don't know we haven't dealt with bears but the reason why we put such a big one and the reason why we put it so high is because i'm afraid of foxes or ferrets playing around with this one and turning it so i was very afraid i didn't want any ferrets to get inside or foxes so we have this one that you have to turn put in and turn down and it's pretty much very hard to turn like with a paw or something so yeah that's why we chose a big one and also it looks bigger because it's a big door and don't you worry and don't you worry we read some comments that we should close the gaps below so first don't go in but uh, my hand doesn't even fit in like it's like pretty much still here so pretty sure a fairy couldn't squeeze in but uh, yeah so we are all done i think we're gonna do a last check see if everything is ready and then they can move in Why do they have to sit on this stick? I like how they go like back and forth. So we have finished our private mini zoo. It's kind of the wood and the fence looks like a mini zoo. But uh, yeah, we have finished everything. Chickens have everything they need. We have made this extra feeder where we put our food scraps that uh, we don't eat. So the chickens can have some. We are gonna get papers in, but once I get papers inside, I'm not gonna be able to talk. So let's go to the paper side, show you what we have done over there. And then yeah, leave the chickens and see how they enjoy the night. We will update you tomorrow, see how everything works out. See if we have eggs in the egg box. We didn't put hay on the bottom, just because we don't want them to make the eggs on the floor, because if there's hay maybe on the floor, they'll make the eggs there. So we just leave it for now until all of them make eggs in the egg boxes. Someone is sneezing, so let's move on to the paper side. And here we are on the paper side, our goose side. We were thinking we bought actually four of those platforms and wanted to put them below the window, but we didn't really find the purpose anymore. Like, it's not that necessary. We put this one in case I want to look out the window, and this one so they can eat their food, drink their water, and this one, I don't know, just to look out the window, I guess. But most importantly, we have behind David, we have the tire for the Bill Bill girl. And same thing over here, we don't want to put any hay anywhere just so she makes her nest over there, not randomly somewhere else. And uh, yeah, before we let people in, I want to say we, as you saw, we made those from an old gutter that we found at the house. And this one, we also put it in this way, in case we want to make it into an outdoor feeder, it's very easy just to dump the food from the top in case we are gone and someone needs to feed them. Chickens are a bit easier, peppers, they're pretty aggressive and you don't want to interfere so much with them. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get peppers in. Chickens were easy. Let's see how they will do it. Good night, peppers. Peppers, 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 peppers. Good night, uh, good night, Pepe. Okay. Good night, Pepe. Come, good night, Pepe. Come, good night, Pepe. Good night, Pepe. She's coming. Tip, 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 tip. Pepe, Pepe. Good night, Pepe. Okay, open. You have to open them when she walks by because so she hears them in there. It's like the gold moose in the movie. Go! How hard was it? 
Pega pra ele tocar. Né? Are you okay now? You okay? If they're sitting in front of the door, Peppa, that's your home now. Okay, Peppa. You are Peppa. <laughs> so that's pretty much it with this video. It was way harder than I thought to get Peppas inside. At the end of the day, they would have to carry every individual one inside. But they're inside. They're a bit confused. They're like. Let me go out, I need to go home, but I think they'll settle down. Chickens were way easier, but chickens we also were taking in a week now. So they kind of already knew it, like that's their food place. But uh, yeah, the project chicken coop is officially done. It feels weird to finish it and have the animals inside already. The whole interior is, I think, fully done. Unless we see some things not functioning the way we want them, we'll change them. But it's working. We have to do some exterior work, so just closing the top over here. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed and we're gonna see you in the next project. So now we can focus in the house or the workshop. Dave wants to close up the workshop and house projects. But yeah, all the animals are secured. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Ha <laughs>